And as on TVC News, it's Democracy Day and President Tinubu has paid tribute to the country's fallen heroes and key players in the political space who fought for the country's democracy. In his Democracy Day speech, President Tinubu assured that he will soon send the executive bill on the new minimum wage to the National Assembly. In his Democracy Day address, President Bolatinubu acknowledged the economic challenges facing is? the nation, assuring Nigerians that his administration is keenly aware of the difficulties they face and is actively implementing reforms to establish a stronger, more resilient foundation for future growth and development. Understand the economic difficulties we face as a nation right now. Our economy has been in desperate need of reform for decades. It has been unbalanced because it was built on the flawed foundations and of our reliance on revenue from exploitation of oil. The reforms we have initiated are intended to create a stronger, better foundation for future growth. Regarding the new national minimum wage, President Tinubu announced that an executive bill encapsulating the agreed-upon provisions will soon be transmitted to the National Assembly for consideration. We have negotiated in good faith and with open arms with organized labor on a new national minimum wage. We shall soon send our executive bill to the National Assembly to enshrine what has been agreed upon as part of our law for the next five years or less. The president paid tribute to the sacrifices of those who lost their lives in the struggle for true democracy. He recognized the country's 25-year journey into democracy, commending key players and institutions for establishing a tradition of transparent, open and fair elections, as well as peaceful transitions of government. We lost great heroes and heroines along the way. And this struggle, the winner of June 12, 1993 presidential election, Chief MKO Abiola, the most significant symbol of our democratic struggle. His wife, Kudrat, General Shew Musa Yadua, and Pa Alfred Wani, amongst others, sacrificed their very lives. President Tinubu emphasized that democracy, despite its complexities and challenges, remains the best form of governance, fostering economic growth, social justice, and human development. And after Mr. President's speech earlier today, top dignitaries gathered at the Eagle Square for the Democracy Day Parade. After the arrival of President Tinubu, the inspector, uh, he inspected the Guard of Honor, unveiling the president's portrait designed by 36 Nigerians. Before the event, Ivo Sinu spoke with some ministers and dig dignitaries on the significance of June 12. Today is Democracy Day. Today marks the real uh, essence of democracy, which is government of the people, for the people, and by the people. But it is not easily won. It is fought for. As Mr. President always says, power is not served a la carte. And so we, we, we congratulate all Nigerians on this democracy which has endured for 25 years. And we look forward to it enduring for much, much longer based on all our efforts. The concentration now is helping Nigerians with the cost of living. All the other things are on track. But we must now focus on what we call the social safety net. Mr. President has empathy. And, and, and everybody knows from his background that he feels for the common man. He promised that he would, he would not leave the poor and the vulnerable to their fate. And it's up to us to make sure he keeps that promise. Decisions that have been delayed have made has made us to under invest. And now President Aswaju Bola Metinibu came in 
with mandate from all Nigerians and say, look, let us confront our reality. Let us uh, put place a sustainable macroeconomic yes, reform that will ensure that we continue to generate more investment that can fund our priorities, whether it's education, health, social services, infrastructure, and all those things that are needed to take Nigeria to its place of pride among the community of nations. We are not unmindful. That's why, as part of the reforms, we ensure that we are paying attention to those who have been disproportionately affected by the reforms. The great sacrifice that MK Abela paid by laying his life for Nigeria has not been in vain. And I'm happy that we are alive mm. to see the name of MK Abela immortalized. And I hope we will restore history into our curriculum and uh, our syllabus so that people can read and understand the significance of today. I mean, 25 years and counting. I mean, this is historic. Mm. I mean, especially given our past, given our past history and record in terms of democracy, within certain military takeovers and all of that. The fact that this democratic dispensation has been sustained for 25 years and counting gives us all the more reason why we should gather here in celebration, in spite of the not very good times, you know, that the country is faced with, but, I mean, with the hope, the, the kind of leadership that has been provided by our president gives everybody a lot of hope that we're actually in the good direction. June uh, 12, 1993, that's where all this came from. Then we were in the House of Representatives, sworn in for about 11 months. But then the uh, election was annulled and we were sent off. And for that reason, because the president himself was in that parliament, he knows that uh, the elections were free and fair. The people expressed themselves. And uh, because of that, he would always like the nation to remember that date is very significant because Nigerians went out, they expressed themselves in the freest and fairest elections that was ever done. So we represent a symbol of that time. On the background of the portrait of Queen Elizabeth, the portrait of Barack Obama, I looked at it as Nigerians, coupled with my friend Tony Ginodu, Adele, all the people. We looked, we came together to sit down and say, we should also have an image that can be a symbol of hope for mm. us. There should be a platform for us to say, oh, indeed, there is something we should talk about in Africa, not just mm. Nigeria. We are selling and the proceed is going to 250,000 Nigerians. Mm. 250,000. On a monthly basis, mm. our intention is to give 50,000 Naira to Nigeria oh. monthly, on, by dividing it from June to October. When this portrait will be getting the world largest from the international record, book record, mm. Guinness World Record, worldwide mm. record. And also, at that time, it will be regarded as the most expensive painting portrait in the world. Ayodele Uzugbako is our Bureau Chief of the Northern Operations. He joins me live from Eagle Square. Quite dramatic and colorful what we've seen thus far. What do you consider the highlights of today's event? Very, very happy about their performances today. So, that is the sound and sound from the Eagle Square. It's celebration, celebration, celebration. made to go home, they are standing by to watch this glorious performance from the combined team of the Nigerian police, Nigerian army and the entire band. Leave me over to you. It's getting 
it's wrapping up um, steadily. What's, what's the next line of activity after what we've seen today at the Eagle Square, Ayo? Yes, there's going to be a gala night tonight. There's going to be a gala night tonight. The federal government is taking time to identify and select some of these people that are still alive, those who played pivotal role in democracy, the Ulisag Bakubas of this world, the Femi Falanos of this world, the General Lani Akinades of this world, they are going to be guests of, of Mr. President this evening in that gala night. And I was told that a lot of human rights activists, civil rights activists that were not mentioned by Mr. President specifically today, they are going to be in the villa today for that dinner. Gigantic portrait, they call it the largest human portrait to be painted on canvas. Is it going to be resident at the Eagle Square or what's it, where is it headed to? No, it's going to be taken to the Center for Art and Culture and um, the proceed, we spoke with the person that actually, that actually um, drew the portrait and he wanted to use it as a kind of um, charity to give um, succor to like 25,000 Nigerians. So whatever proceed is gotten from this portrait is going to be a channel to feed 25,000 indigent, I think 250,000 indigent Nigerians. Bureau Chief Ayodele Zubako live for us at the Eagle Square. Happy democracy to you and thank you for the update.